Dear students, we are solving problems under the topic Lagrange's linear partial differential equations using the method of multipliers. Now here we have problem 15 which says us to solve x multiplied with y squared plus z multiplied with p minus y multiplied with x squared plus z multiplied with q is equal to z multiplied with x squared minus y squared. Now we have to first of all compare this given equation with the standard form. We know that the standard form of the Lagrange's equation is given by capital P small p plus capital Q small q is equal to capital R. So on comparing with this standard form, we find that the value of capital P is equal to x multiplied with y squared plus z. And the value of capital Q is negative y multiplied with x squared plus z. And the value of capital R is z multiplied with x squared minus y squared. So let us take and write that now. So we have taken and written the value of P, Q and R. We shall now write the auxiliary equation of the Lagrange's partial differential equation. It is given by dx by capital P is equal to dy by capital Q is equal to dz by capital R. We shall now substitute the value of P, Q and R in this auxiliary equation and what we obtain is. So these ratios we obtain and we mark it as 1, 2, and 3. So after substitution of P, Q and R in this auxiliary equation, this is what we obtain. And when we compare the equations, we understand that method of grouping is not going to work out in order to solve this problem. For that reason, we are going to use the method of multipliers for which we will be forming a fourth ratio by choosing the multipliers L, M and N and multiplying with each of the terms and adding them with the, in the numerator separately and the denominator separately. And so the fourth ratio will be LDX plus MDY plus NDZ the whole divided by so when l multiplied with the first uh, ratio lx multiplied with y square plus is it and you have a negative sign here so minus my multiplied with x square plus is it plus n is it multiplied with x square minus y square so this is the fourth ratio that we obtain okay so now we have found the fourth ratio. Now we, we have to choose the multipliers L, M and N and N in order to make the denominator of the fourth ratio as zero. So we shall first find the first set of multipliers. Now in order to find the first set of multipliers, I have taken and written the denominator of the fourth ratio. Now we have to make this as 0 for which we have to choose the values of L, M and N in, a, in, a, in an apt way. So what are the values that we can give for L, and, L, M and N? So I am going to choose L to be equal to 1 by X, M to be equal to 1 by Y and N to be equal to 1 by Z. So that I am going to check whether it is going to become 0 or not. So let us put L, M and N in this. So what will happen to the denominator of the fourth ratio? So if I put L is equal to 1 by X, so I will have 1 by X multiplied with X, Y squared plus Z minus M equal to 1 by Y. So 1 by Y multiplied with Y into X squared plus Z plus N equal to 1 by Z. So 1 by Z multiplied with Z, X squared minus Y squared. So if I observe these two, terms gets cancelled and I will be left out with y square plus z and here you have a minus sign. So minus x square and then again minus z and then plus x square minus y square. So let us check whether any terms are getting cancelled as yes, of course y square and negative y square gets cancelled. Positive z and negative z gets cancelled. Negative x square and plus x square gets cancelled. And we get this to be 0 and let us mark it as 1 as we will be using this while further proceeding the problem. So therefore we have observed that while choosing the multipliers as 1 by x, 1 by y and 1 by z, we observe that the denominator has become 0. So this is what we wanted. So therefore the first set of multipliers are given by 1 by x, comma 1 by y, comma 1 by z. In a similar manner, let us find the second set of multipliers. So I am going to choose the second set of multipliers now where I am going to put L to be equal to X, okay, M to be equal to Y and N to be equal to negative 1. 
usually when we choose x y we choose z but now i am choosing equal to uh, negative 1 how did i think about this negative 1 so uh, that was trial and error method only so what i have done is i considered the denominator 4 that is this so here i substituted x here i substituted y but for n i need to find the value so what is my aim to in order to make this zero so i have equated it to zero and substituting l as x and m as y and simplifying it and taking the terms to the right other way i will find the value of n for which i got it to be negative one and therefore i am choosing the multiplier uh, third multiplier as n equal to minus 1. So, x, y and minus 1 are the second set of multipliers which you can also try and check out. So, when we substitute this, the denominator of the fourth equation becomes, so at the place of L I am substituting x, so it will become x square. So, x square multiplied with y squared plus z. Minus at the place of m when I substitute y it becomes y square multiplied with x square plus z. And at the place of n I am substituting negative 1 so it becomes negative z multiplied with x square minus y square. Now let us simplify this by multiplying the terms inside the bracket. So x square multiplied with y square gives us x square y square and then plus x square z minus so here you have a negative sign and y square x square and then this so minus y square is it and here also you have a negative sign so minus is it x square and then minus into minus will become plus z y square so can, let us check whether any terms are getting cancelled and if you see x square y square a negative x square y square gets cancelled x square is it you have here and x square is it with a negative sign you have here and so these two gets cancelled and finally this one negative y square is it and positive y square is it gets cancelled and therefore we have obtained this to be equal to 0 and let us mark this as subdivision 2. So therefore the second set of multipliers that we are going to choose is x, y and negative 1. So, I have taken and written that. So, second set of multipliers, L, M, N is X, Y and negative 1. Now, we shall use these two set of multipliers and by using the first set of multipliers, we will find the solution U and by using the second set of multipliers, we will find the solution V and thereby we can write the general solution phi of U comma V equal to 0. So, let us do that now. Now, in order to find the solution u and v, first we have to take and write the fourth ratio that we obtained. So, the fourth ratio that we obtained is, so this is the fourth ratio that we have obtained. Now, we have to substitute l, m and n over here in such a way that the denominator should become 0. So, what are the first set of multipliers that we got? 1 by x, 1 by y and 1 by z. So, this one. So, these are the first set of multipliers that we obtained. So, let us substitute this now. So, what we get is, if you put L as 1 by X, so you get 1 by X dx plus M as 1 by Y dy and N as 1 by Z. So, plus 1 by Z dz. The whole divided by the denominator will completely become 0 which is from 1. So, already if you remember, I have marked it here so that I am applying it now. So, this from this 1, we saw that the denominator became 0 when we chose the multipliers 1 by x, 1 by y and 1 by z. So, therefore, if the denominator is 0 by the method of multipliers, we have 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z. That is the numerator will also turns out to be 0. Now, integrating on both the sides, what we get is integral 1 by x dx is log x plus integral 1 by y dy is log y plus integral 1 by z dz is log z is equal to a constant log c1. And we know that log a plus log b plus log c can be written as log of a, b, c. So, here a is x, b is y and c is a, z is equal to log c1. So, therefore, comparing on both the sides, we get x, y, z to be equal to c1. And therefore, the first solution u is equal to x, y and z. 
so this is the first solution u in in a similar manner let us find the second solution for which we have to you make use of the second set of multipliers that we obtained where l is x m is y and n is negative 1 and so therefore the fourth equation i mean fourth ratio turns out to be x dx plus at the place of m you have y so y dy and at the place of n you have negative 1 so negative 1 dz divided by we observed that the denominator was 0 because the second set of multipliers when we used the uh, x y minus 1 we found that the denominator was 0 so using this you can say that the denominator is 0 so for this is from 2 so if the denominator is 0 then by the method of multipliers you can put x dx plus y dy minus dz to be equal to 0 now integrating on both the sides what do you get integral x dx will be x squared by 2 plus integral y dy will be y squared by 2 minus the integration of d z is z is equal to a constant c2 taking lcm on the left hand side you will be having x square plus y square minus and this will be cross multiplied with z so it will be 2z is equal to 2c2 which can be in general written as c2 itself so this will give us the second solution v and therefore the solution v is equal to x square plus y square minus 2z so this is the second solution by using the solution u and v we can write the general solution phi of u comma v is equal to 0 which is given by phi of what is u u is x y z we have obtained it as x y z so x y z comma x square plus y square negative 2 z is equal to 0 so this is the general solution hope you have understood this problem thank you